Hey, what's up guys? Dan Carr here from Shuttermuse.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to watermark your images using On One Photo Raw. I'm going to show you two different ways so you can pick and choose the one that works best for your workflow. And throughout this video, I'm going to be using a logo that was created for me and my business by a company called Photo Logo. Now, if you're not familiar with that business, they're a company that makes hand-drawn logos and watermarks for photographers for a very reasonable cost. And I've actually done a review of their service and my experience using them as a customer, and that's on Shutter Muse. There's a link to that review in the description below this video, so I definitely recommend you check it out if you want a really great looking watermark for your images. Okay, let's take a look at these two methods of watermarking images in On One Photo Raw. Now the first method is kind of the standard method. We're going to apply a watermark during the export process. So let me open this image in the develop module to start with. Let's pretend we've just done some editing. Now we want to export this uh, as perhaps a low res JPEG to put on social media or something like that. So we would come down to this export button, the little arrow in the box there. And when you click that, this is going to change to the export dialog. Now the first time you do this, in On One Photo Raw, the watermarking section is not actually visible. So don't let that confuse you. You need to come up to the top here where the little plus button is, and you see this option there, watermark. So when you click that, we get this new little box added to the export section here. And this allows us to choose a logo file. So you would hit choose, and you would choose uh, one of those logos or choose the logo that you already have or potentially choose one of those logos from uh, the photo logo company that I just showed you. So in this instance, uh, I had the black one selected. So we'll just sort of reselect that for the moment. Now, uh, one of the downsides to On One Photo Raw's watermarking section is you just get the watermark showing up in this tiny little preview box over here. It doesn't show up on this main image. So don't let that fool you. You've got to look for the watermark over here. And if you're applying a small watermark, you can kind of barely see it. Uh, it's, it's not a particularly great design the way they've done this, um, but it, it does work. It gets the job done. So you can see my logo is uh, sort of faintly in the top there. Uh, if I change it with this size, you can actually see that that moves a little bit bigger and that's a little clearer for you to see that it is actually there. Obviously, this is much bigger than you would really want it to be in real life, but you can adjust the opacity of that so you can fade that out, make it a little more subtle. Uh, the inset just moves it around. This is an anchor point here, so you can set it in the center, you can set it in the top, uh, and then the inset is adjusted uh, from this position. So if you go left, right, bottom, center like this, you can move it around with the inset. Uh, actually not in the center, I guess. That makes sense. Um, so up and down, and then change the size of it. And then once that's done, you have a couple of options here. So you could hit export, and that's going to create your JPEG. In this case, I've set this to JPEG, lower resolution. Um, but one thing you might consider doing is coming up to the top here to the preset section and saying save new preset with current settings. So you can save an export preset that has some watermark settings already baked in there. So for example, I've already created one up here that says white sig central 100%. And what that means is it's a white signature logo centrally positioned with 100% opacity. So I could actually collect uh, select that one from uh, my preset there. And you can see now over here, I actually have uh, this white one selected and you can still make changes to it like this. Um, but if you're gonna do a lot of exporting with watermarks from On One Photo Raw, I would definitely recommend setting up a few presets for your different logos. So then you just hit the export button and I actually have it set. So uh, when the export has finished, it will open the finder to show me the image that it's just processed. So then I can just double check things, uh, particularly with that small preview of the watermark there. I find it's helpful to just uh, check that it has added the watermark correctly. So there we go. All right, so that's method number one. Um, and then we'll take a look at a different method that uses layers. So in that first method of watermarking using On One Photo Raw, you're a little bit limited by the positioning that you get from the watermarking tool in the export dialog. If you want a little bit more freedom, you want the possibility to add multiple watermarks onto the same image, then you're gonna to wanna to use this second method here. So let's choose a different image. Let's choose this one, that'll do. Uh, and then I'm gonna come over to the right-hand side and we're gonna click the layers option here. So that opens up this whole layers dialog for us. And on the left-hand side of the layers section, you actually have a file browser. Now this has already jumped into my photo logo folder where I have my watermarks. But if you click this drop-down box, you just got a file tree here. So you find your watermark files within this. 
And then all we have to do is grab the file and drag it over here. It's gonna ask you if you want to open it as a new image or if you want to add it as a layer. Now we definitely wanna add this as a layer. So now we're gonna come up and use the move tool. So the top left tool there. And if you hold down the shift key, then we can actually maintain the aspect ratio of that logo whilst we adjust the sizing of it. Then we can bring that into the right position. Let's just make this, well, we're gonna make this pretty small, I guess. Um, now drop that somewhere in the middle like this. Now on the right hand side here, we have the layer opacity option. So we can always make this a little more subtle by dragging the opacity slider down like this. And potentially you might even want to change the layer blend mode. Sometimes the overlay blend mode can look pretty cool with watermarks. Uh, in this case, I think we just need this normal one because we're basically putting it on a black background right there. So this is handy if you want to position the logo uh, in a very, very specific place that you weren't able to achieve using the export dialog. And the other way that it's useful is you might potentially want to add multiple logos here. So um, maybe we're gonna add a few small ones. Maybe we're then gonna add a really, really big one across the top uh, of you know, a main part of the image because you're sending a high res file to a potential client. You want them to be able to inspect it, but you don't want them to be able to easily crop out your watermark. So in this case, you might put on a really, really big watermark, but at a low opacity. So we could bring this down here, you know, uh, around about 10%, something like that. Um, and what that means is they can't really crop this out now. That's definitely gonna be a problematic thing to crop out or to remove using some other software. So uh, this basically just gives us a way to stack up different layers. And then once we've done that, we can then come and use the export dialog. But in that case, we would then turn off the watermarking options from the export dialog because we've already added them using layers. Okay, so that is the second method of watermarking an image in On One Photo Raw. And like I said, this one uh, definitely gives you a bit more flexibility. It takes a little bit more time to do it. So you're gonna have to pick and choose which one works for your workflow. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.